Hello, I'm Brianna, an Air Force medic. I'll be teaching you how to perform a bilateral needle decompression of the chest. It is performed in a casualty with significant torso trauma or polytrauma with no pulse or respirations in the tactical field care phase. Consider body substance isolation. If a combat lifesaver is available, direct them to assist. Sir, Assess sir, the casualty for signs of torso trauma or polytrauma with no pulse or respirations. Next, identify the insertion sites for bilateral NDC. Either of two sites can be used on each side of the chest, whichever one is more accessible, the fifth intercostal space, or ICS, and the anterior axillary line, or the second ICS in the midclavicular line, or MCL. If the second ICS at the MCL site is used, do not insert the needle medial to the nipple line. Secure a 14 gauge or 10 gauge 3.25 inch needle catheter unit. Remove the lower lock cap from the needle catheter if applicable. If available, use an antiseptic solution or a pad to clean the site. Insert the needle catheter just over the top of the lower rib at the insertion site at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to the chest wall, advancing it to the hub. Leave the needle catheter in place for five to 10 seconds to allow decompression to occur. Then remove the needle, leaving the catheter in place. Assess for successful needle decompression. Signs of success include, an obvious hissing sound is heard as the air escapes from the chest when NDC is performed. This may be difficult to appreciate in high noise environments. A casualty with no vital signs has a return of consciousness and or pulses. Hemoglobin oxygen saturation increases to 90% or greater. If the first NDC is unsuccessful, then perform a second NDC on the opposite side of the chest using either of the two NDC locations. Use a new 14 gauge or 10 gauge 3.25 inch needle catheter unit. If the casualty is responsive to NDC with return of vital signs, place them in a position of comfort or the recovery position with injured side down to aid in respiratory efforts and continue the march pause trauma assessment and treatment. If bilateral NDC is not successful, consider discontinuing care. Document all findings and treatments on a DD Form 1380 TC3 casualty card and attach it to the casualty.